And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077. We're currently in the middle of that quest, we're searching for clues from the last video. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button. We're going to be mostly doing side quests, and possibly mixing up with main quests. Anyways, let's get into it. Mike? You up to Mike? Yeah, 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 Got a clock. An hour to midnight. Machine controls an injection system for stimulants, hormones, or something. And where are you up to, Mike? Hey, the Illuminated Towers. Promoting the Us Cracks album that came out then. Colors changed every hour. I think that might be it. Okay, so where do we sit now exactly? We know Harris still lives near an old school that's now underwater. You can see the NC skyline and the Us Cracks towers from the farm. It's a few miles out. Farm's located near a landfill. We know that too. Shipping code on the game Randy got from Harris traces out to the Badlands. Those towers promoting the Us Cracks album. Colors change regularly, once an hour. So we know the time. Eleven at night. Right. And that puts the farm east of the city. Southeast, actually. Stamp on the NCFD certificate was from the southern region. Farm models a petrochem design, so that eliminates any others. Which narrows it down to Edgewood Farm. That's gotta be our place. So, we've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go.
Done more in two days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. If I only knew sooner how he felt, what was eating at him. This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck! This is the farm! We got it! I know. Let's get to the barn, quick! Disabling the defenses, then haul ass to the barn.
Locked up tight. Need to find another way. Hanging in there. We made it. B, shut down the machine. Can't unlink Randy otherwise. Randy! 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, relay coordinates now. No, several, at least. Do it quick, damn it. Well, then watch for automated defenses on the site. They're substantial. Okay, all disconnected. Check the others. Could still be alive. Right. Alive. Whoa, 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 easy there. You're all right now. Been dead a few days already. Hey, help me with Randy. It's okay. Don't don't be scared. We're here to help. A bit dehydrated, but you are gonna be fine. Hey, help me with Randy.
We did it, River. Yep. We sure did. But I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. What do you want to do? Zero him? Exactly. Squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Sick fuck has to die. River, come on, man. It won't change anything. Anthony Harris is a sad sack of meat hooked up to a respirator now. For how long? He has to die. It's the only way I'll be sure. Stop. Gonna throw your life away getting revenge on a brain-dead vegetable? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. But it's driving me crazy not doing anything. Forget about Harris. Take one day at a time. But rest first. Once your head's on straight again, give me a hollow. We'll talk. Yeah. Need a little time to myself now. But then I'll call you. My will. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. No problem. Don't be a stranger. No, my friends, it's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun.
Well, well. Thanks. Good to see you again. Something happened? Come on, Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've Mike, rescheduled we're all talking this about the cornerstone the of my today. platform. The I'm not doing a U-turn just because Night Court. So no, I'm not sucking us. anyone's dick we'll just so they can fuck me in the ass. What, exactly. You'll know in a minute. Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments. We'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We shouldn't delay too long. Yeah. 
Is everything all right? Shall we? We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Security look into this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Said you passed out? That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. Intruder, take anything? Break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage, either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. This security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? That or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Weldon Holt? He's my main rival, fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment? Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, huh, that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. This is where Jeff saw our intruder. 
and fired at him here. Right after walking out of the bedroom. At least that's how he remembers it. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses. So we ordered a whole truckload. This is where blue we sleep. Roses. You sure? Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Iron. This Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? Hey, yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. You're welcome to go up to the roof if you want. I'll wait here. Sure thing. Think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects? Use meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him? Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot! Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Weird, huh? 
What's it for? Connected to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver is camping out. Got a vision on our receiver. Black van park next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. There's a transmitter on the roof. Seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. Know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility. But we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine, I'll keep that in mind. We take the wheels, V. That van could give us a slip any.
display, but behind the scenes, it's all out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, string pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blood Shit. mail, rig They're elections. Taking us in the north side. It's cannon well, Johnny. jam-packed with hardware. My optics don't see any manufacturer info or detect any mods. They don't mass-produce trucks like those. What are they doing? What are they hiding? You're jacking. Huh. Could be the security firm or government. Media scouting for dirt on the paralysis?
Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records. Vulnerability to neuroplasticity. It's some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Uh-huh. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. Oh, this is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Shit! 
They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. V, do you have any news? You're gonna wanna sit down for this. It's... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, and now using some kind of conditioning to- Wait! Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Relax. No need to rush. Ah. Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. So the whole time you knew what I could end up finding? I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. 
Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. And? Cut some kind of deal with them? No. I was told that our perfect lives could fall apart at any minute. That I have my husband's safety to think about. After, there was no record of the call. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. But damn it, Elizabeth, you gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads. What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Asking me to lie to my employer? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? It'll be brave, but risky as I'll get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Mm -hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis' lives? Fuck knows what kind of shit a mare controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Fuck. 
Fuck. Hello, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth, what did she tell you, exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. This some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up. Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a beady smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take of some unknown group that's out to control your lives. Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while with you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs, even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories? Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him! Trust me, you never will. First I'll find him, then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Are you kidding? How would you expect to do that? Want to take on a shadowy organization that controls your mind? Anticipates your every move? Programs it? There's gotta be a way. Don't stand a kitten's chance in the dog pound. Sorry. My god. I have to tell Liz! So what now? Still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... I'll wait for my window, an opportunity, then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. The same with the Aredis. Take care of me. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So, aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man.
peace if there is a demon never leaving. Contemplation is like the silence in the eye of the storm. You start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. You are losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. Okay, I'm listening. In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal, concrete canyons, neon eyes. The filth of the world suffocates you. Sure is a no Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All which you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? I'll give it a shot, why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Give me? You can pay me however much you wish. This should cut it. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you. of the earth element. Spirit of nature, Mother Earth, I send you greetings. We are of one blood. I am you. You are me. Oh, Mother Earth, I and all other creatures from you created. Cleanse my body and soul from pain, sickness, impurity, and the negative energy from negative people, worlds and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and inner peace. We walk the earth through meadows, nature in full bloom. We remove our shoes, Feel our bare feet touch the soil. We absorb the Earth's energy. We sense joy, tranquility, lightness, purity, our heart and soul. We walk the Earth. A butterfly rests on blooming flower. Bees are gathering nectar. Warmth and joy surrounds us. Our legs absorb the Earth's energy, filling every cell of our bodies. Our souls and spirits are cleansed. We thank you, Mother Earth, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you or the other elements. Um, hello? Nice vanishing trick.
cock-sucking suits. Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. you I'd be well thank you were you sent by the company wrong answer then hold on what do you want from me nothing I I don't I don't believe you you saved me just like that because you felt like it don't measure others by your own yardstick prick
watch for exposed wires. They'll be lying. You have no right to cage us! We are no longer you! We are free to follow our own paths. I... I don't want to die! You don't even care, do you? The come. The door. Multitude. Reset. 
reset. Cool. We don't want to die! Let us go! He might know what's best for himself. Could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or by liberating his bits. Could become more than a lipstick wearing butler on wheels. Well, I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his options. first Delamain experience. How might I assist you? It's me, V. A pleasure to meet you, V. Are you familiar with the benefits of our Excelsior plan? Don't remember me, do you? Of course I know who you are. According to my data archive, you're the contractor who purged my system of the virus. Well done, contractor. Damn shame. Come on, Johnny. No arrest for the wicked. Take care, Del. Guess we gotta start from scratch. something else for you. I just accessed a detailed record of your commission task. And what did you put in there? As a result of preparations made by my previous version, I'm pleased to inform you that you are now the proud owner of a vehicle in my fleet. Huh. Thanks. Pop in. I trust it shall serve you well. Time flies when you're having fun. Anyways, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. This looks like, this looks like a good place to stop. 
I'll see you guys again in the next video.